Hi guys, this is Mustafa from Garachak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bootable Heron's Boot CD. If you are watching this video, that means you know what Heron's Boot CD is and the kind of features that we can gotta get out of this CD. In my future videos, I'm going to show you some of the um, options that he has or the features that he has and how we can take advantage of them. So the steps are like straightforward. All we have to do first is go to to handsbootcd.org. So we go to download and we scroll down to here and year to date is Heron's Boot CD 15.2. So version 15.2. So all you do is just click on the link and you're gonna be prompted to download it. I've already downloaded this, the um, file, so I have it right here. Once you download it, you just right click on it and extract it, and you will end up with all these files right here. Um, actually, not all of them. This is what you will end up with. Um, the other files I download them from for other purpose, which is um, how to create um, how to create the bootable. Um, Heron's Boot CD from a USB flash drive. So you will end up with this file right here by itself. Heron's Boot CD 15.2. Well, right click on it and then extract your Heron's Boot CD and then you will end up with a folder like this one. What you have to do, it's almost like pretty much straightforward. All you have to do is go to this application, Burn CDCC, click on it, and then it says Browse. Basically, you're going to browse this file right here, and you just hit Browse. You go to the file location, and then you choose the file. You can hit Finalize. Um, running this Windows 7, as you can see, on my virtual machine on a Mac, so, and the Mac has a DVD burner. So I'm going to use the slowest speed, I think it'll be, yeah, about 8, speed like 8%, that will be the the, um, the idle speed for a DVD burner. So we just hit start. It prompts me to enter a blank CD. I'm just going to reinsert my blank CD and hit OK. And you, at this point, you should not have any problem. You should be like, okay, and a straightforward steps. There is no um, rocket science or anything in it. As you can see here, write an image to disk. Um, it'll, it'll roughly take about four to five minutes, depends on how ef um, efficient your CD burner is. So... All what I'm going to do right now is pause the video and just come right back once the um, burning process is done. And at the end of the burning process, the CD will come out by itself and you will see complete here, which means that we have successfully burnt our, um, burnt, um, our hands um, CD's file on the CD. Now we hit close and we take the CD and do our experiment. As you can see, the room is kind of dark. Um, we have finished um, the burning Heron's Boot CD and I don't want to use it on a virtual machine. So I wanted to use it on a, a physical laptop. So all what I'm going to do right now is turn my laptop on. There you go, and insert the CD, as you can see right there. And press F2 to choose the burn. Press F12, F12 to choose where to boot from. There we go. We are now prompt with options. We either use hard drive, removable device, so we use the CD. Then hit enter. By the way, I have Windows Vista um, on this computer. As you can see, here is Boot CD 15.2, works just fine. This is all the tools it has, everything in here. 
which we'll go over in the future and just so you example I'm gonna press the mini Windows XP you hit enter and this Windows actually is you know like a Windows that you want to use if you have a problem with your hard drive and you can't really boot your operating system you can use the Hinge Boot CD to go over this issue and it will be the same it will work the same on a virtual machine but I actually wanted to use it on a physical machine so you can see the difference thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial thank you